Hi, I'm Jill Bulldog, and in my video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your microscope's ocular micrometer so that you can accurately measure the size of a microscopic specimen. You're going to need a, to use a standard compound light microscope that has an ocular lens equipped with an ocular ruler. You'll also need a slide micrometer, and eventually you're going to need a slide that has a specimen on it. Okay. So before I show you how to do this calibration, I want to first explain why we need to calibrate the ocular ruler and why you're going to, why you're going to need to do it for every objective lens on your microscope. So the image size of any specimen when viewed under a microscope is magnified twice. First, it's magnified by the objective lens and secondly, by the ocular lens. So in this drawing, my objective lens is a 4x objective lens, and my ocular lens is a 10x object, uh, ocular lens. So that means that my specimen is, a, is magnified first four times, secondly 10 times, so it's been magnified for a total of 40 times. That's the total magnification of my specimen. Okay, that's because the specimen is on a slide on the stage of the microscope. But the ocular micrometer is actually located just below the ocular lens. So its image size is only going to be magnified once by the ocular lens and won't be affected by the magnification of your objective lens. So in theory, the ocular lens should stay the same because you're not going to change your ocular lens. Okay, so therefore the calculated values that are going to be assigned to the ocular micrometer will need to reflect how the image size changes in proportion to the objective lenses, whereas the ocular ruler will stay the same. So we're going to have to, um, to sort of modify that and recalculate for each objective lens. We're going to need to compensate for that difference is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so again, before calculating, I need to familiarize you with what a stage micrometer actually is. So here's a picture of what a typical stage micrometer might look like. It's basically a microscope slide that has a small ruler etched into it. This slide is then placed on the microscope stage just like any other microscope slide. If I enlarge in the image of the ruler, you should notice that it consists of many vertical lines. I call these vertical lines division markers because it's the spaces in between these lines that are actually called divisions. And it's going to be the spaces between the lines that we're focusing on. So it's the divisions that are important. So as you can see that these division markers, these lines, have three different sizes, different lengths. Regardless of their lengths, it's the space or the divisions between each of these divisions will be the same. So they're equally spaced apart. Most of these division markers that I've used have never been labeled by numbers, but I'm going to assign a number to them just to make a point and to show you how easy it is to uh, count the number of divisions. So by convention, I usually start by counting the division markers from left to right, and I start with the number zero, similar to any ruler that you might have, whether it's a, a, a US ruler or a metric ruler. Now, if I were to count all the markers from left to right, regardless of their size, what I found or what I would find is that there are 10 spaces or 10 divisions between any two of the longest division markers. And so with that, I'm going to say that there are a total of 100 divisions. I can count these large division markers by multiples of 10. Likewise, I can also count the number of divisions by fives if I include the mid-size division markers. So the mid-size division markers in combination with the largest ones helps me count the number of divisions by multiples of fives. So I'm showing you here in the slide from 0, 5, 10, 15, all the way to 100. What those numbers represent is that there is a total of 100 divisions in this tiny ruler. Okay. So this stage micrometer has been calibrated. It states in the upper right hand corner that one division is actually equal to 0.01 millimeters in length. Now that's pretty small. 
So remember that there's a hundred of these divisions and they're all equally sized. So the space between any two of the given division markers on this ruler is equal to 0 0.01 millimeters. That's what it's meant by the ruler being calibrated. Now I usually find it easier to convert millimeters into micrometers and one zero uh, or I should say 0 0.01 millimeters is the same thing as saying that one division marker equals 10 micrometers. This way I don't have to work with such small numbers. So either way, whether you use millimeters or micrometers, as long as you're consistent and you use the right value, you're going to get the same answer. But throughout my video, I'm going to refer to one division being equal to 10 micrometers in length. Okay. So if this micrometer, as I've showed you, has 100 divisions, and each division is said to be 10 micrometers in length, then we can simply multiply the number of divisions, in this case 100, by 10 micrometers, and I can say that this division ruler is 1,000 micrometers long. So the distance between the division marker 0 and the division marker 100 is equal to 1,000 micrometers. Okay, so you need to remember two things. Remember that one division is equal to 10 micrometers, and in this case, the since the micrometer has 100 divisions, its total length is, is 1,000 micrometers. We're going to use these two pieces of information now to assign a similar unit of length to each division of your ocular micrometer. And that's going to be determined based on the objective lens that you're using at that time. Okay, so to do this, I need to start by first placing a slide micrometer on the microscope slide. So here's my slide micrometer. I placed it on the stage. I'm going to focus the image using the different objective lens. In this case, I'm going to start with the 4x objective lens. I've placed my, my stage micrometer on the stage, a microscope stage. I've focused it using my 4x objective lens. I now see two rulers or two rulers in my field of view. One is the stage micrometer and the other one's the ocular micrometer. Now it's important that you keep in, uh, keep track which ruler belongs to which, um, where the rulers come from basically. So always keep track which is your ocular ruler and which is your stage ruler or micrometer. I keep saying ruler, ruler, micrometer, the same thing. Okay, I also find it helpful to align both rulers either to the left or the, to the right using my stage X and Y adjustment knobs Usually I align them to the left like this. Okay, so let's clean up the slide a little bit and I'm just going to show the field of view. So remember that one stage micrometer division is again equal to 10 micrometers and that there are 100 divisions so that the whole stage micrometer length is actually a thousand micrometers. Again, these two important values. I'm going to draw two red lines, dotted lines. The, the distance between these two dotted lines are going to be equivalent to a thousand micrometers and I'm going to carry those red lines down to the ocular micrometer. Okay. Because the space between these two red lines is a thousand micrometers and it spans the distance between 40 ocular divisions on the micrometer, I can say that a thousand micrometer is also equal to 40 ocular divisions. Now the question that I have for you or that we're trying to answer is how many micrometers in length is one ocular division? Is one division found on your ocular micrometer? Okay, so we're going to answer that question. We're going to do it mathematically and we're going to do it by using cross multiplication. Okay, so we're going to say by cross multiplication that one ocular division times 1000 micrometers, I'm showing you that with the blue arrow here, double edged arrow, is going to be equal to 40 ocular divisions times whatever micrometers that one ocular division is going to be equal to. Okay. We're going to try to simplify this equation. We want it to say equals 
the amount of micrometers for one ocular division. So to do that, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 40 ocular divisions. Now you notice on the left side, I've, I've crossed out some words. I've crossed out ocular divisions. Now this is a, is a value that I'm giving to that 1 and to that 40. Because the value, it's the same value on top of the division line and below the division line, they cancel out. So I'm canceling out the words ocular division on the left. I'm doing the same on the right, but on the right I'm also canceling out the number 40, because 40 divided by 40 equals 1. So I can cancel out 40. So I'm going to make this equation a lot simpler by crossing, by canceling out, and it results to this. That equation now becomes 1,000 micrometers divided simply by the number 40. Okay, the answer to that will give me the, the amount of micrometers that one ocular division is equal to. A thousand, divide, a thousand micrometers divided by 40 is equal to 25 micrometers. So I basically just calculated or calibrated my ocular micrometer using the 4x objective lens. I'm saying that one ocular division is equal to 25 micrometers at uh, using this objective lens. Okay. So how does this help me actually calculate my specimen size? If I switch out my stage micrometer and replace it with a microscope slide that contains an actual specimen, I can see that my specimen, the one that I'm pointing here with a blue arrow, is, at, is approximately six divisions long based on my ocular ruler. I now know based on my calculations that one division is equal to 25 micrometers. I just calculated that using the stage micrometer. Thus, since my specimen is 6 divisions long, I can say 6 divisions times 25 micrometers that my specimen shown in this slide is 150 micrometers in length. Easy enough. Okay, so let's change out uh, my stage micrometer, uh, put back my stage micrometer I should say, and change the 4x objective lens and replace it with the 10x objective lens and do my calculations all over again. Okay, so by doing this, what you should notice is that the stage micrometer's image is a lot bigger than what it was before. But equally important is that the ocular micrometer's image stayed the same. Again, I want to align the two micrometers and compare their lengths. Remember, I know that one division uh, of my stage micrometer is 10 micrometers, and the length of my stage micrometer is 1,000 micrometers in length. So I'm going to compare their lengths. In this case, they pretty much look the same. That's going to make my calculations much easier. Okay, I'm going to ask you to pause the video now to see if you can go ahead and calculate the amount of micrometers that one ocular division is equal to. When you get an answer, come back and see if, if you got it right. Okay, so again, remember that the stage micrometer is a thousand micrometers in length. And that a hundred micrometers divisions equals a thousand micrometers. So I have in my ocular micrometer, uh, the, the dotted red lines, I can divide that a thousand micrometers into a hundred ocular divisions. So I can say mathematically here that a hundred ocular divisions is equal to a thousand micrometers. Again, knowing that, the real question is how many micrometers is one ocular division? Again, remember we did uh, cross multiplication. We're going to do that again. So the equation would be one ocular division times a thousand micrometers is equal to a hundred ocular divisions times whatever the amount of micrometers in one ocular division. Now remember last time we, we divided both sides by 40 to simplify. Well, we don't have a 40 here, but we can do the same. We're, in this case, we're going to divide both sides by 100 ocular divisions. Likewise, we can do some canceling. We can simplify the equation. It comes out to 1,000 micrometers divided by 100, which is equal to 10 micrometers. So the answer in this case is that one ocular division using the 10x objective lens 
or the total magnification of 100x that one arc of the division is equal to 10 micrometers. Okay, so again, if I switch out my slide micrometer and replace it with a, a specimen at 100x total magnification, I can say that my specimen, uh, see my specimen right here is about 14 divisions long. So I can say that it spans between, what is it, 12 and 26. So 26 minus 12 divisions is equal to 14 divisions long. 14 divisions times 10 micrometers, that specimen right there is 140 micrometers in length. Okay, so again, switch out the objective lens, remove the 10x, place the 40x, and bring back the stage micrometer. I'm going to ask you again, pause the video and see, based on this picture right here, can you calculate the size of one ocular division at this magnification? Once you get your answer, come back and we'll see if, if we agree with the answer. Okay, at, 40X, at 400x total magnification, my stage micrometer's image is now so big that the entire ruler does not fit in this field of view. So I'm not going to rely on the fact that my stage micrometer equals a thousand micrometers in length because I can't see end to end. But what I will rely on is that I know that each stage division is equal to 10 micrometers. Okay, so I'm going to draw again two dotted red lines. And with this case, there are many ways of doing it. I just chose to, to draw these two lines between two uh, between 10 stage divisions. Okay, I carried them down to my ocular micrometer. I know that the distance between these two stage, uh, these 10 stage divisions is 10 stage divisions times 10 micrometers is 100 micrometers long. Based on this comparison, I can say that 40 ocular divisions, so I took 60 ocular divisions, the 60 uh, subtracted by 20, I'm left with 40 ocular divisions. Those 40 ocular divisions spans my 100 micrometers. Again, the question is, how many micrometers is one ocular division? We can do some cross multiplication. Here's the equation. Just like the other two times, one ocular division times 100 micrometers is equal to 40 ocular divisions times the amount of micrometers in one ocular division. We're going to simplify the equation by dividing both sides by 40 ocular divisions. The equation simplifies to 100 micrometers divided by 40, and the answer for one ocular division is equal to 2.5 micrometers. Okay, if I'm going too fast, or if you need to, to rewind the video to make sure you catch it, Please go ahead and do that. Okay, can you tell me how long the red specimen is in this picture right now? Again, we're going to do some red dotted lines. I'm going to show that the dead red dotted lines are between 45 and 20, so that 45 minus 20 divisions, that my specimen is 25 divisions long. I've calculated that each division is 25 micrometers, so therefore, this red specimen is actually 62 and a half micrometers in length. Now, if your microscope has other objective lens, for example, a lot of them have are equipped with a 100x objective lens, then you'll need, you'll need to go ahead and calibrate your ocular micrometer using these other objective lenses. Okay, so let's say now that you've been successful at calibrating the lens of all uh, of your ocular divisions using all the different objective lenses that came with your microscope, you don't have to recalculate these values ever again. These values associated with these appropriate objective lenses will stay the same unless you change the lenses. So you can go ahead and use these lengths for each division and size your, your specimens each time. Okay, so this actually concludes my demonstration on how to use uh, a stage micrometer to calculate your ocular micrometer. I hope that you found this helpful. 
uh, please feel free to send me any comments below. Uh, I'll be happy to, to hear your comments or uh, see if I can help you in any other way. Again, thank you.